everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are going to carry on today in our little accordion keepsake book. And I am going to be working on the second page today. I've decided just to do a little pocket here and then possibly something, I don't know, a tag or something to go inside. So I have not planned this project um, just beyond doing a pocket here. So let's just get started. I know that this is, um, I need it to be uh, two and a quarter and I'm thinking probably similar in height. So I've got some more of the same paper. I'm just going to cut this down. Make sure that that is correct before I score this. That is fine. And let's just see here. I hope you guys are all okay. I um everything's fine here. We're just uh we're at the weekend. I'm filming this on the weekend and it's it's been quite busy. Oh, let me just so that's 3 Um yeah, so it's it's been a pretty busy weekend. And I am looking forward to this. this is our day, last day of work. We're off for a couple of days. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So, okay, let me just see and make sure that this is right. Okay, I am going to now pull a few things that I've been thinking. I'm going to do a little bit of stitching on this just for interest. Um, so I'm just going to pull some things out. So yeah, on our days off we tend to do our errands. We do some grocery shopping and um, and then if we've got time, this week we'll probably go down to the river and do a few things. I'm kind of thinking about these. These are from my stash. And I just thought it'd be fun to kind of make this into more of a bee. Since it's, I've got the butterfly on that front page, I thought maybe the bees to contrast that. Because I think you can see this is going very much in the scheme, you know, this... A nature theme here. Um, so first thing I want to do is run this through the machine and I'm going to create I think I'm going to create another pocket another little pocket on this one. So I'm just going to run it down three sides. So I will be right back. Okay guys, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't realize it was kind of dark on the screen. I've just stitched this as you can see and created another little pocket there. Um, I had actually thought I would put some fabric or lace or something I forgot I completely forgot it <laughs> hey ho uh, not really with the program I think so I'm just going to actually glue this one down because this 
has actually ended up being quite a lot more work involved in this than I anticipated, but that's okay. It's um, it's just meant to be a fun project. And I'm going to just work in some other um, projects in between for those of you who maybe aren't really interested. I'm just snipping off the corner a little bit there. Um, who maybe aren't interested in following this one. I'm going to be starting another project very soon. And again, it will be quite drawn out. Um, we're just going to take our time and uh, work through it in several stages. I think that's, this might be kind of a nice way. And then again, I'm trying to find other um, challenges that I can participate in. And I'm considering maybe, maybe, maybe looking into some swaps and things on some of the groups that I'm involved in. Um, I did, it's been quite a while since I've done a swap. Um, and I said I wasn't going to do any more because I've had really kind of some bad experiences with the swaps. And I won't go into all that. It's too much negativity, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I will again give it a try and hopefully, you know, it'll be a little bit better, but we'll see. We'll just have to see. I, don't, I have to be so careful about over committing. Uh, I don't like, like to get to where I feel quite pressured on things. All right, guys, so here's where we're at. I like that. I think in contrast to that page, I think that looks really good. Now, let's just put something up in here. And these are just some little journal cards that I've got. Get some ink out of my stash here. Let's see what we can come up with. hope you guys are enjoying this project. I'm really loving it. Uh, it's kind of nice to do something that's not a, you know, a full-on journal. This is more something I think is going to be kind of nice just to have. Uh, I think it would be great to give to somebody to do something in the colors that they like. This would be a great little happy mail or, or maybe just to give to a good friend. So we've got that little journal card that's tucked in there. And then I've got these um, these little tiny postcards, although they're, they're originally not this small, but I printed them out too to the page. I like this. Every day is a fresh start. I think that's a really nice one to maybe add. I'm thinking about in this pocket. Hopefully that will fit down. I'll have to trim just a little bit off of it. Take a little bit off the top. I'm just going to trim it down a little bit more. I'm just trying to make this fit 
so that I like the way it's sitting there. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Okay, I'm very, very happy with how that's come out, and I think I'm happy to actually move on to this one. Let's try to get two pages this time. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. I would pulled that out thinking I'd use it, but we don't need it. So, okay, so this one. Let's take some vellum. And I think I would just like to do a pocket that's stamped. I'm going to do some stamping on this, and I think I am going to do some stitching as well. So the first thing I need to do is cut this down. And I know that that width is two and a quarter. Is the width and now I'm just gonna guess about there so that's about one and three quarter we're gonna go on the, the height of the pocket and then I'm actually gonna stamp on this one with some stays on and then we'll stitch around it for a clear pocket is what I'm thinking for this one so Bear with me, guys. Let me get my stamping gear, everything together here. And All right, so I've got my field notes um, stamp set, so I'm just going to go with one of these images. Okay, guys, this is the one I'm going to use because I like the shape of it. I think that's going to look nice stamped on the um, vellum. And then I'll stitch around it, and then I've got an idea for the little pocket. Oh, goodness, I probably got too much. Oh, I think I just did too much on that one. Let me see if I got a little bit of scrap here. I can, yeah. Okay, let me get that cleaned off a bit. Okay, I'm going to let that sit over there and dry for a minute. And I'll just get the stamp cleaned and then, um, yeah, I want to let that completely dry or I can see I'm going to end up smudging that. So, OK, 
Okay, so let's see. We've got that. That's going to dry. Um, while that's drying, let's just go ahead and work on what my little idea for this one is going to be. Let me clear a space here, guys. And oh, we'll be right back. If, if you don't have something similar to what I'm about to show you, um, it'd be easy enough to make it. I just happen to have this. This is um, when Tracy Fox and Artie Mays did a collaboration. They did a kit called Nature's Remedies here. And this, I've actually, again, I've cut this down to, I mean, I've printed this out at two per page. So my thinking was I'm going to actually trim this down even smaller, but I like the coloring on that and we're going to make a tiny, tiny journal that's going to fit in this vellum pocket. Here. And I do mean it's going to be very small. That's my thinking. And I'm actually thinking it might even, hang on, let me find my papers. I might even put a different paper behind that. Oh, guys, I've got a mess here today. I was all set to do this video, and then Paul, um, things got delayed for him to go out, and I don't know. I'm kind of just out of it, so bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm going to get it together here in a minute. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, but I was wondering about stitching that to a little bit of contrasting paper. Or if I want to keep it. kind of like it with the contrasting paper. I think it looks really cool. All right, I'm going to leave that out because I may very well do that. All right, so here's where we're at. I'm going to use this little nameplate. I zoom you guys back out slightly. So I'm going to have to fussy cut this out. And then I know I'm going to end up having to cut this down. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so this can go in my scrap pile. So when that's folded, let's just think. I'm going to have to cut this down to about here, I think. And I'll save that little nameplate, and I'm sure I can use this in another little project somewhere. Okay, I'm hoping this will fit. I still may have to cut it down even more. Hopefully that will be okay.
All right, so we'll we'll sort this out in a bit. Let's just set that now to the side. Now go ahead and fussy cut the little book plate, and then we'll get that put on the the cover of it. Because I thought with my little. Um, coffee dyed papers. I'll just get a few little pieces in there. That way I can make a few, you know, quotes that I can write in there or, you know, I don't know. That's just kind of my thinking because I thought this, I kind of want this to be kind of just a little inspirational um, piece. That's where I'm at with my head on this one. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is get all of this trimmed so none of this white is showing. And then now I'm going to do some inking inside. You could add pockets. I'm not going to bother because uh, it's really not meant because for more than just a few pages within it is and I'm actually going to just run those through the sewing machine. I'm not going to sew the signature and I'm just going to run a stitch down the sewing machine. So when I break off to sew the vellum, I'll stitch a few pieces of paper in here as well. And um and that's the extent to that little journal. So I know I'm going to have this on here, but it would be nice to find something else that we can put on. And I'm just going to see, I kind of like the idea of these blues. I'm just going to fussy cut this out, to be honest. Because you see, got the blue in the paper, so why not? take a little bit off that. That looks a little bit strange with the straight side. Okay, yep. I'm liking it. And I think a little bit of cheesecloth behind that. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, let me just grab some cheesecloth. Let's see what we can get done with this. I've just grabbed my little washi tape thing and I thought, well, maybe I want to put just a little bit of washi washi I like that word washi <laughs> yeah let's just put a little bit on there we just need something going on don't we
Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to this, guys. I'm just slapping some stuff on here just for some interest. So, um, just put a little bit of the... All right, now let me just see where I'm going to have this. Something like that. So, let's just get a little bit of glue here for this. Cheese cloth. Let's get this on and then we can make a decision if there's anything else. Because again, I don't want this to just become too bulky. Okay, I can see I need a bit more glue there. And let's see. All right, so it's going to be very simple. And that's just going to tuck in there. So now, now I'm just going to need to stitch this to some of this paper. I do think I like that rather than just leaving it plain. So I'm just going to stitch around this. And then we are going to have a little pocket ready to add our little journal to. Be right back, guys. Okay, that's what it looks like now that I've stitched it. I've rounded the corners here just so that it'll fit a little bit nicer, I think, there. And I can drop it down right to the edge by, by rounding those corners. And then we're going to... Oh, I didn't do my little journal. Oh, well. Uh, I'm just not thinking clearly today. I don't know what's up with me. The, got the brain fog going. You ladies know. So let's get this down. Just going to get this down, and then I will actually do the little journal after... Okay guys, so I have now added three little sheets of paper, which I think is just perfect. I can then come in if I hear a quote or if there's a particular scripture that speaks to me. Um, I think that's just adorable. Really happy with that. Okay, I feel like, you know, it's just not quite there yet. These obviously need some sprucing up. So the first thing I've decided is to put an eyelet into this little this little tag here. Got this little bit of uh, baker's twine, so I think that'll be really sweet just to add to this one. I must start remembering to to look for that because that's actually what I think is going to be my little substitute until I can 
find the linen thread. If you guys are making one of these, would you um, let me know and maybe share some images, um, whether it's Instagram or <clears throat> Facebook. If you'll just use the hashtag Firefly Studio 67, uh, that way I can find you guys and I would absolutely love to see what everybody's making. Um, because it, it's just so inspiring to see other people's take on, on projects. So just use the hashtag Firefly Studio 67. And I will try, try, try to get better, guys, about um, checking those things. I'm, you know, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not great with, with technology or social media. So um, I will try to be more diligent on keeping an eye for those things. All right, I just felt as though, isn't this beautiful? This is some of that oh, bargain trim I got on one of my thrift finds. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course here, I just feel as though that could really do with a button. You can't go wrong with a button, can you? When all else fails, add a button. So yeah, I'm going to do that. That's what we're going to do. It's a heating up in here, guys. Oh, lordy. Yep. i got to get that air conditioner back on. We're flipping at 100 degrees again for the next week. And um, Paul, was. we were just sitting outside after we got back from church. And... He just, he said, I've had enough of this. And I said, well, I hate to tell you, I don't think we're going to be getting out of it because um, heading home, we got to go across to Arizona, um, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, oh no, I really just, and I want to go someplace north. I want to head north. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I think he and I have got to have a serious chat here very soon because um, it's it's just too hot. It's just too stinking hot. What was I doing? I got this out for, for some reason. It needs something, doesn't it? Let me see if I can put something pretty on that. I'm just going to staple this one, guys. Well, I'm going to try to staple it. Let me rephrase that. Uh, staples are hit and miss sometimes. Is it going to work? Yep. Oh, I don't like it, though. Mm. Never mind. No, I don't like the way that looks at all. So I'm going to have to stitch that. All right. All right. All right. I've just created myself even more work. Okay. Let's start with this. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm just fed up with the heat. I want to go to Alaska or Siberia. I think that's the only place we stand a chance of being in a climate where we can cope. <laughs> this is, uh, I know everybody's suffering. This is the problem. You can't seem to get away from it these days, and, uh, it really, we're not suited to it. I, you know, it, it's interesting because so many people love the beach and they like the hot climate. Um, there's a couple of guys we work with here that are from um, Costa Rica. And so when they leave here, they go back down there and raft. You know, they're raft guides down there. And I just thought, oh, bless your hearts. I don't know how they can stand it. But they, you know, I guess if it's, if, if you get accustomed to it, but I'll never, never adapt to this. I mean, I've been in it for 40, let's see, we came 45 years. Yeah, 45 years. 
except, you know, when I lived in England. And, um, because after we moved down from Michigan, and I'll tell you, I hate, I've never, never liked it. I love the South. I love the people in the South. I do. I think it's some of the nicest people. Southerners are, are really, really nice. But, um, I just can't take it. I can't take the heat. Well, I see. I mean, we have met people, nice people from everywhere. Um, Utah's got a lot of nice folks. It seems a really calm. I felt a real sense of calm in Utah. But I couldn't live there because it's too barren. I've got to be someplace that's green, that's got water, that's cool. Yeah, I'm quite a fussy person. I won't lie to you. I, I know what I like and, and, and yeah. <laughs> but, um, but boy, I, I don't know. There's, you know how you've been, you're around certain people and you just feel a sense of calm. That's how I felt in, um, in Utah. The people, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it just, I felt very, very relaxed there, which was amazing. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> this is where we are. Uh, that's definitely what it needed. It needed just a little bit more. And I think that needs to stand out just slightly. So, so there you go. There's a little close-up. It needed that to finish it off, I think. Um, the other thing I thought would be nice in here is I can just, when at my leisure... I could stamp some images and then write something important because I've got some really pretty stamps that I want to, I like sometimes to save the images. Okay, that is it, guys. I'm calling that done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you um, are inspired and want to make one of these. I'm really enjoying this project, and I hope that you are. So you guys take care. I will be back soon. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll have a new project on the next video, or maybe we'll carry on with this. I have no idea. Stay tuned, though. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.